A 100 kg World War II bomb, found in Upper Bukit Timur, was successfully detonated on Tuesday afternoon, after more than 4,000 nearby residents were evacuated in the morning. The police said, in an update on Facebook, that the bomb was successfully disposed of by the Singapore Armed Forces SAF Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team at 1. 45 p.m. In an updated Facebook post, at about 5.10 p.m., it said the Building and Construction Authority BCA, National Water Agency PUB, Grid Operator SP Group and HDB had completed their assessment of the construction site where the bomb was found. Nearby drains and pipelines, and evacuated buildings and roads, were found to be structurally safe, and residents had been informed they could return home. The bomb relic was unearthed during excavation works last Wednesday at the construction site for the Miss Condominium. What followed was the largest evacuation exercise involving the disposal of a World War II era bomb, affecting some 1,000 residential units at the linear Hazel Park, Hazel Park Terrace and Block 154 Gangsa Road. The detonation operation involved more than 40 SAF personnel the army said in a Facebook post. It said soldiers used sandbags and concrete blocks to build a protective wall around the bomb to minimize the impact from the blast. The bomb, believed to be one of the largest wartime munitions unearthed in Singapore, was destroyed in two control explosions. A blast from the first detonation was heard from Block 153 Gangsa Road at around 12. 30 p.m., the blast from the second detonation was heard from Senikashu Community Club CC, about 2 kilometers away. Mr. John Chia, a 65-year-old passerby, heard the first explosion from a nearby Shell Petrol kiosk. I was standing opposite the Shell Petrol kiosk station along Upper Bukit Timer Road. It was a very loud blast, it shocked me, he said. As a precaution, Train services on the downtown line were suspended during the detonation operation. The Land Transport Authority LTA said in a Facebook post on Tuesday. In another Facebook post at around 5.30 p.m., LTA said affected roads in the area had reopened and bus set and train services had resumed normal operations. Police officers had put up roadblocks at affected streets at around 10.30 a.m., to the surprise of some commuters. Private tutors Annabelle Liao, 26, and Go Ji Wei, 39, learned of the bus diversions from a notice pasted on the windscreen of an affected bus. Service 67, that they were on. The pair then changed their lunch plans. The authorities had told residents on Sunday they should not be home between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Tuesday before vacating their homes. Residents were told by police to mark their doors with a green strip of paper. One of the designated areas for them to go to was the Senukashu CC. When the Straits Times arrived there on Tuesday morning, about 100 residents were seen milling about, most of them elderly. Miss Chia Yopang, 77, a resident of Hazel Park, went to the CC from Chengji Airport with her luggage in tow after her flight from China landed at about 7 a.m. She had spent seven days in Xi'an with her brother and sister and was exhausted after the five-hour flight. Miss Chia said the exercise was an inconvenience. I had no rest at all. I am so sleepy now, she said. Tourist Roman Ansi, 38, on the other hand, said he was happy to be a part of history. The Filipino national was in Singapore to visit his brother, a resident of Hazel Park. Foreign Minister Vivian Bolikrishnan, the MP for the ward in Holland Bukit Timer GSC, where the bomb was found, visited Senekashu CC on Tuesday morning and spoke to some residents. Dr. Bolakrishnan said he wanted to thank the agencies involved, including the police, the SAF, 
the BCA, and the Housing Board. He said the evacuation of residents went smoothly as they left their homes on time and cooperated with the police. He had been worried about traffic jams, but it was managed effectively by the police. He said, at the community level, you can see we have actually overprepared because we were not sure exactly how many people would need additional help. But we thought it was better to overprepare than underprepare. He noted that as it was a work day, most people had gone to work while students were at school and proceeding with their lives as they should. Dr. Balakrishnan said the authorities were focused on the vulnerable and had to make arrangements for the bedridden to have access to daycare. He said there were facilities in Bukit Panjen and wheelchair users were tended to at the CC. He was very pleased at how the community supported one another. I am happy with the way the community has responded, the calmness and composure of our people and, of course, the professionalism of our agencies. So, a big thank you to everyone, he said. He added, Singapore is a well-organized, calm, composed place where when things happen, we are able to respond effectively. And because there's that trust and cooperation and that sense of looking out for each other, it makes things so much easier. It's another aspect of that strong Singapore spirit. So, a lot to be thankful for. People's Association grassroots leader, Linda Ng, had earlier said Senekashu CC would be able to hold 1,500 residents. A special program had been put in place for the day at the CC. And to stave off boredom for waiting residents, there were video screenings in the morning and an arts and craft class in the afternoon where they learned to fold pipe cleaners into flowers. A study room with Wi-Fi was set up for children. Among the displaced were 25 dogs from Dog Daycare and Boarding Centre Rock and Rough. Its president, Mr Derek Tan, said the canine evacuation began at 6. 45 m, the dogs were ferried to the CC with trunks of food, feeding bowls, play pens, and carriers. Mr. Tan said the process was relatively smooth, even though we had to make a few 20 minute trips to and fro to transport all the animals. The bomb disposal operation also disrupted lessons at Greenridge Secondary School, which had switched to home based learning for the day. SMRT Bus Services 67, 176, 178, 961, 970, 979 and 983 were affected on Tuesday between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. They skipped several bus stops in the closed-off Upper Bukit Timer Road area. For other bus services, operated by SBS Transit and Tower Transit Singapore, were also affected. In 2016, another 100 kg bomb relic was found and disposed of at a Mendai construction site. There were no civilian evacuations then. In 2019, 600 residential units were evacuated when a 50 kg World War II bomb was found and later detonated near the former site of popular nightclub Zouk. In 2021, a bomb relic was found at a temple construction site in Geelang, prompting the evacuation of 100 people. Another bomb was found in 2020 at a corner terrace unit in Bishan. But only 12 households were affected.